This deck didn't need basic cards I didn't have yet, so let's see, uh, let's see how Inner Fire Priest goes. Oop, that was the wrong one. That is true. That is true. I do like clunky creature decks. I actually haven't played a game with Quest Rogue yet. Whenever you cast a spell, add a random priest spell to your hand. That seems fine. Yes, so how donation decks are gonna work for Hearthstone, if you're a subscriber to the channel, for a $10 donation, I will play your deck on stream for a minimum of a half hour. Usually we'll probably play 40, 45 minutes or so, depending on, on the day and what we have going on. I should mull Inner Fire and Lyra. Is this just too slow? Their deck, their deck's a control deck, right? I could see Inner Fire, we probably want this. This is a combo deck of sorts at its core, right? Yep, yeah, yeah, okay, so we know they're not spiteful now because they had wild growth here. Mulling for dragons, because dragons make our dust breakers and things like that better, right? Double A minions health. Oh, okay, so we divine spirit up and then inner fire something. Take a divine spirit here. How often do I plan on streaming Hearthstone? My goal is to stream Hearthstone a minimum of six hours a week or so. Do two and a half to three hours every afternoon, two afternoons a week. And if it's successful and there are people watching, then we'll do it a little bit more often than that. But my, my goal is to stream a minimum of two days a week um, through the end of June. And if I'm not having good numbers by then, I'll probably just scale it back and just play this off stream. But if we have okay numbers, I might scale it up a little too. We have a few decks in the queue for people that want me to try out sweet things. It seems like there's so many decks in this format. Like I think I've built like a dozen different decks and won a reasonable amount of games with all of them. Yeah, yeah, I've really, like, I'm really glad I finally basically, like, got over my bias or whatever you want to refer to it as for the game and, like, gave it a real try. So this can't attack if they don't have armor, right? It looks like they're Taunt Druid, which I think means I just want to get on the board, right? So I think I'm going to play Dustbreaker and just, like, poke their stuff. And this comes into play if I have a dragon. It deals three to everything else. I think I, think I just want to play this out. So I'm gonna double this thing's health, then I'm gonna double this thing's health, and then I'm gonna inner fire it to make it a 12-12 and let it start smashing through my opponent's board. I think I think I just wanna suit my suit my gentleman up here, right? They need to have like exactly naturalized to beat through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and Shadow Vision here. So this actually lets me just start going face here, right? Because this gets rid of all of their all of their taunts. Just like give you the beatdown, go. Yeah, I think I think against I think against Taunt Druid, we're pretty unlikely to be able to one-hit KO them, just because like they're gonna have so many minions in play. These are gonna be poisonous spiders. Sweet. And the fact that they have oh, oh, that's actually not good. Mirm guard. Um, I can play this and then have one attack the other, right? 
Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then I can, um, wait, okay, I was like, why aren't they going away? So I can divine spirit this and then set up to kill them next turn, right? Oh, actually, can I kill them this turn? We're getting pretty close, right? So double set, smack you. And like they're dead next turn now. They don't have another taunt guy to put out. And like they're playing taunt druid, so they're probably gonna have a taunt guy to put out here, but you know, they didn't last turn. Maybe that was a waste to only get plus six attack there. They haven't just slammed their stuff, so maybe they don't have anything good here. Okay, Lich King. Lich King's pretty good. What's going on, Calhouns? So, I think I just want to get a taunt guy out here. I'm going to go ahead and slam this and then play this out, which is going to wipe this off. Then deal two to the rest. The Hearthstone viewers are currently uh, significantly less than Magic, but I also was, you know, I'm starting from very little here. Yeah, that's fair. Because I have the Lyra, I could have generated more pre-spells. I really like Odd Rogue. I think Odd Rogue and Tempo Mage are my two favorite aggressive decks in the format right now. Odd Rogue plays more like a Sly deck, whereas Tempo Mage tends to play more like a Burn deck. How long did it take me to get to rank five? Um, four days, three days, two days, something like that. I hit rank five within a few days of starting playing. This is just them armoring up, right? 10 out of 10, yeah. I think they're gonna gain 12 here. Yeah, if you're a data junkie, Hearthstone has infinite data. Ooh, that's a great draw. So this, whenever we heal a minion, we draw a card. So I get to do this and heal this guy. And they're almost dead here, right? God, we're so close to killing them. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this out and pass the turn. God, what is in their hand? Are they just like setting up for their big taunt play the turn before they're dead? Oh no! Oh no, chat! Oh jeez. Maybe I should have been healing this more aggressively. I definitely wasn't healing him very aggressively and now I lost my Voltron piece. That's not good for me, chat. They're gonna gain 12 again here. Oh, that's a beating. Wait, do they not gain 12? All right, well, I'm gonna start by doing this. Wait, are they dead? They're dead, right? They're at eight? Why didn't they? I'm confused. All right, they're dead. I was like, wait, no, they're dead. Why didn't they? Oh, did they not play? Oh, they played the game six, right? They didn't play the game 12. Get that, we're leveling up our priest. Get that, we're gonna complete my quest today too. That's exciting. But yeah, so if you're looking, if you're one of my magic players and you're like looking for a fun game on mobile and you've never tried this before just because of like the very obvious biases that the magic community seems to have for it in a lot of ways, the gameplay in Hearthstone is really refreshing in a lot of ways. I don't think it would ever replace magic for me, but like sitting down and getting to play five and 10 minute games on occasion is very enjoyable to me. Where's Oaken? Okay. All right, so after playing once already, I'm pretty sure how much money I put in the game to get started. So I put in six fifty-five dollars to get a feel for the game myself. And now that I know that I'm going to start streaming it, I've put uh, many hundreds of dollars in so I can have lots of different decks that people can send me to play. If you enjoy playing the arena, you should play the arena. Otherwise, you should just buy packs. Um, Mass Dispel's probably okay here. Actually, Dustbreaker's probably great too. Yeah, tossing it all except Dusty doesn't seem bad. Yeah, I'm gonna do that actually. I kind of like that. 
The most common priest deck on the ladder is the... This hand's very good. Um, the most common priest deck on the ladder is like the Mind Blast combo priest deck, I believe. Can someone donate for Arena? I don't know what... Arena is limited, right? So, I've never tried... It's been a long... I tried Hearthstone Limited once upon a time a long time ago. I've not played it since I started playing again. So, yes, I would give Arena a try for a donation. That's actually pretty good because I want to make this a little bit bigger so that way I can survive my Dusky here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on... Am I going to put this on here? It's actually kind of an interesting turn. I could put this on here. I, wonder. I could also like burn my coin early, but that's probably loose. Yeah, I'm gonna do this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and attack their dome here, I think. Whoa, that's kind of scary. They uh, they have another copy of Prince in their hand, which is going to make everything in their deck bigger. I'm going to go ahead and heal this, I think. Oh, this is whenever anyone heals something? Wow, that's gross. Okay, I definitely didn't realize that I was going to let them draw a card too. The arena costs some amount of actual dollars to play, right? For for now, since I haven't tried it yet, let's just call it let's just call it as a sub ten dollars for an arena. Because I assume arenas are less than ten dollars to play, right? Alright, so what am I doing here? This isn't active yet because I somehow haven't managed managed to not draw a dragon. I think I'm gonna play both of these out, which makes this free. I'm just gonna take a reroll here. Inner fire is pretty good. I guess Shadow Madness isn't bad. I can take one of their things and smash it into one of their other things. I have eight cards in my hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and attack upstairs here and pass the turn. They have a dragon of their own here? Yeah, that makes sense. And then now that I've gotten the Shadow Madness, I feel really bad. I'm just going to pack it in. I'm going to get to the next one and see if we can actually try and win one. I feel like with, with double Prince active, there's just like no way we're coming back from this. So they, they had two Prince triggers into their deck because they had the card that let them bounce it. So they were all their, all their units were coming out plus two, plus two. Oh, we finished 4 1 in Grishelbrand. I don't know if I said that already. Anduin versus Gul'dan. Feels bad, man. All right, Warlock. Uh, I think we're just mulliganing all of these, right? And just looking for my cheap card that lets me uh, draw a card when I heal. Swap this minion. That's pretty good. It seems seems pretty sweet. We get to curve this into this and kind of be aggressive on the play here. Or on the draw.
If you haven't seen the BAMP deck before, be sure to check out the YouTube channel. Everything, uh, everything is already uploaded there from the last two leagues we played with that one. At seven wins, so at seven wins, you're you're netting a pack in your entry fee back, so you're like basically going infinite, right? So I get to play this out, which is gonna turn her into a two four here at end of turn. So that means she won't be able to get killed by this, which is nice. That's really funny, Spinek. That's a good line. So you can swap it and then grab it. They have a mortal coil here. That's really annoying. So this kills it and they draw a card that killed it. I mean, Hearthstone also gives you gold for like literally everything you do. Like every three wins you get gold, you get a quest every day to get gold. So like getting 150 gold is pretty trivial if you're playing a lot of Hearthstone. Like your, your quest every day is worth 50 gold. So basically, if you just do your quest every day, you can get a draft every other day without putting any money in or an arena or whatever, whatever they're limited is considered. I don't know if it's technically considered draft or not. This deck's kind of neat. There's so many neat things to be doing in this format. I think, I think the Warlock decks and the Paladin decks are probably a slight cut above, but I think Blizzard knows that and they tweeted that they're going to be doing some balance adjustments to some things at the end of the month. Any streaming for PvE? I haven't touched the PvE yet. Maybe at some point. That's kind of annoying. I guess it doesn't kill this though, so it's not really a big deal. So I can heal this and I could get aggressive here but like hitting for six seems kind of mediocre so I'm just gonna smack them and then play this radiant elemental if they have another hellfire I'm gonna feel really bad but we'll see I don't think paladin's that oppressive that's a fucking tilt 10 cards into their deck god we'd have killed them this turn right we'd have healed it and then gone double double 16 you I think I'm just playing this Twilight Acolyte out as a 2-4 here. Because next turn I can go jump to eight, jump to, or, oh, this isn't, this is the wrong one. I was thinking backwards. I only have one of the double up ones. I can get them pretty close to dead here. We need to draw another another Divine Spirit or another one of these. Ooh, that's a good draw. So this silences this, so it takes the text off of it. So... We actually have a combo set up for next turn, because we drew another Divine Spirit. So I get to go Divine Spirit to 12, Divine Spirit to 24, Inner Fire kill you. So we need them to not put a Taunt out and not kill my guy. Oh, that's a tilt. Maybe I should have maybe I should have divine spirited it last turn. Yeah, maybe I should have divine spirited it last turn. It's a pretty good draw though. This is this is a pretty good card to combo with too. It's just got infinite health here. They're only one turn off of a void lord here potentially though. For those that are newer to Hearthstone, a Void Lord is a nine cost three nine taunter that, uh, that's annoying, that makes more taunters when it dies. Mass Dispel seems really good in this deck. It's kind of surprising to me that there aren't more Mass Dispels in this deck. 
Like, Mass Dispel would just let me kill them here. I guess we have the Shadow Ascendancy or whatever it's called, the one that lets me discover a spell for my deck to get more. I think I think I just Drake here and like start slowly smashing their board down. It's gonna like do this and then poke this on the turn. This is more attack on my turn, three attack on your opponent's turn, sure. Well that's good for me, they don't have a Void Lord yet. Again, Mass Dispel would have just been the nut. So this is pretty easy to do. I guess I should have started on this, right? So let's me draw a card. Intruder. The problem is they're gonna be able to just run this in next turn. Uh, I don't think the opponent's playing Q block necessarily. They're definitely playing a... They're definitely playing a Warlock deck. That, it might just be Warlock control. Like, this card's kind of interesting. I mean, it could also just be someone testing this card inside a Q block. If we can dodge them getting a Void Lord into play this turn, we're set up to combo them next turn very nicely. So we'll be able to punch through their taunters and then kill them with our Divine Spirits and our Inner Fires. I yeah, they played Stonehill Defender earlier. Oh, they could have gotten this off Stonehill, right? That makes sense. That makes sense they got this off Stonehill. Did they just set up a Defile on me? Not a full sweep, but that's a Void Lord, yep. Yeah, not being able to see the max health is something that is a little annoying. I agree with that. So many yeah, I just, I don't have any more silence effects in my deck, right? I guess I could draw Lyra. I could draw Lyra and then Lyra would allow me to maybe generate a silence effect. So I get to do this. I, I guess I can do this. The Void Lord's damage from the Defile that was happening that put it into play, because it came out mid Defile. I'm just gonna go ahead and pass here. I'm not sure that we can really win this game. If they play another Void Lord, I'm just gonna concede. I will take a draw step and see if we hit Lyra, but we're basically on like Lyra or Bust at this point. And like Lyra has to generate well for us past that. gonna pass here can you be more specific than that dr. V max like if someone said that on one of my magic at one of my magic streams I'd time them out for being being very non-specific right, yeah we're done to that one Let's bring some more void lords yeah, I really, I really feel like I just like, I really want a second Mass Dispel to draw to. Like Max Dispel would have been lethal at so many points that game.
Doctor Dr. Max, feel free to write out your entire thought before you press enter or send instead of sending it in different little little tiny tidbits there. So that way you can actually articulate yourself instead of like sending me little bits that don't make sense on their own. Yeah, I probably played the master spell too early. I agree with that. I will. I agree with that assessment. Well, Duskbreaker is great here. Do I want to mulligan these other two? I think I want to mulligan these other two looking for a dragon, so Duskbreaker is more likely to be online. Shadow Madness seems pretty good against Paladin on average, too. Yeah, the elemental is fine on two, but I think I think I want to prioritize making my Duskbreaker live at some point. Are they just playing Murloc Paladin? I think I think I'm supposed to mull aggressively for a dragon. I already have a Divine Spirit. Grab Inner Fire here. This is probably just gonna be like turn four dragon, right? It looks like Murloc Paladin. Murloc Paladin's uh, pretty high up there in all the tier lists that I've looked at too. Yeah, I I am due, and the and the big part of the reason why I think I'm okay with the best of one in Hearthstone as opposed to Arena and Commander is because the removal of resource variants from a game of Hearthstone makes the best of one feel a lot less bad in my opinion. I'm gonna wait on this Tar Creeper just because I'm gonna go ahead and play Duskbreaker next turn anyways. I'm gonna sit down for the last leg of the stream, I think. Enjoy the ride down, chat. Opponent probably debating whether or not they wanna play around a Breaker here. Ooh, they co they coined that? That's so good for us. That's so good for us. They coined out that four drop. We're gonna give it to them. Yeah, I agree. I have I've I've yet that, that's not true. The number of games of Hearthstone I've played in comparison to the number of games of Hearthstone where I just felt like, well, I didn't really get to play a game this game, that sucks, are is so small. If second called arms, I guess that makes sense why they did what they did. So I get to clean their board here again though, right? I get to go ahead and shadow madness this and then smash here, smash here. Is someone injured? Pretty good for us. Thanks Hogland. Hope you're having a good day. Consecration's kind of brutal. Although I guess it's not that bad, right? I just get to like, I get to go heal here, smack here, and then play a, play a big, big and out. This card's pretty big and I'm, and I'm getting set up to like make a, make a Voltron here, right? Oh, should have played it before combat to get my juggle in. Yep, yep, you're right. The, 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 there's so many little sequencing things like that in this game that are so huge where just like you're like well because combat because the flow of your turn is dynamic it really feels like there's so many more sequencing decisions i have to make every game like here i want to attack first so i reduce my health total so i can then do this and then i think i want to just play tar creeper out this turn to protect from here and like, so someone else earlier commented that discovering inner fire was bad because it's the worst part of my combo. I think I agree with you. I think I was wrong. I should have taken another divine spirit because divine spirit is okay on its own. Whereas like I've drawn a second inner fire now and it's pretty useless. So that was, that was a good suggestion. Well, this is, this is quite good. So I get to go ahead and 
Drake here and then trade this in against their 3 3. Oh, I don't even have to trade it in, right? Because I have a taunter. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. So I have a little bit of experience with it because the turn system in Epic is dynamic, similar to Hearthstone. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we drew we drew another inner fire to continue getting punished here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play Twilight Drake out here. Basically, this deck wins on turn seven or eight. Yeah, that makes sense. The magic player in you wants to play to the board and play the deck like a mid-range deck. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. It's not it's not a mid-range deck, and I was playing it a little bit like a mid-range deck. I don't really want to attack anything here. I think I'm just going to play this out and take the attack off of this, swap these. That way this is a three power so they can't kill my 3-3 my three, three here. Oh, I can bump this and then heal here and draw a card. That, that's the line. That's fine. I figured it out. It took me, it took me a minute, but I figured out the line. It took me a minute, but I figured out the line. This doesn't swap it. It just sets it equal to it doesn't it doesn't swap. And see, if I had a second Divine Spirit here, we could actually kill them this turn, right? Maybe. Not quite. That's a pretty good one. So... I think I'm going to go bump here. Wyrmguard's pretty good, though, too. No, that's not true. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to finish this off. And then I'm going to use this to eat here. And then I'm going to play Wyrm Guard out. And I'm going to heal heal my 4-8 back up, I think. Pass the turn. This deck's probably pretty good against Paladin. We have a lot of big taunt minions. And we have we have several sweeper effects. But yeah, this, this play earlier where I discovered this inner fire is just like going to come back to destroy us. Maybe I could have just inner fired my 11 here. Are they dead? That was a weird conceit. I think they were dead. Like I was going to get to inner fire. Or I was going to get to double inner fire. And then, yep. Yeah, let's play one more. This deck's going to need. Look at that. We got our quest too. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. We were going to make a couple of monsters huge. Yeah, I should have inner fired something just to like be resource efficient and make giant things. Thanks everyone for hanging out. I appreciate it. This is going to be one of my two weekly Hearthstone streams. I might fire up at other times too, but every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon, I'm going to be live for several hours. Um, this deck and all the decks we're going to play this afternoon are viewer submitted deck lists. So if you're interested in seeing me play one of your Hearthstone standard decks on stream, if you're a subscriber to my channel for a, um, for a $10 donation, I will play a deck list of your choosing, as so long as it is standard legal. Am I just mulliganing everything here? Dustbreaker is not very good against Cube, right? Against Warlock in general. They could be like the Zoo build, but I think I just want to mulligan for like my one, my one of my two drops here. This game's pretty good. It's got some dragons in it to enable my dragon cards. It's got Northshire Cleric. So how would you handle a 30 legends donation deck list? Um, I might reject something that looks like it's just trying to gouge gouge it out of me, but I, ha I have a pretty big collection at this point. I have a pretty big collection at this point. Hmm. 
Since arena is two bucks, if I spend my prime on you, will you try arena once on stream? Sure, sure, we'll give it we'll give it one try for that right deal. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm also not sure if you can build a 30 legend deck. Did our opponent just AFK? They are apparently AFK. Right away. Um, I'll publish the Grishel brand tonight when I'm when I'm all done streaming Shannon because you're a sub though You can go back and watch the twitch archive while I'm still streaming here today So they're back and they played a giant. Hey, thanks BS Ben. I will, we'll have that happen at some point. I'm gonna prioritize putting the people that have donated to see decks in the queue, but I'll throw that one in there at the bottom. one is usually wrong against Q blocks since they don't have something on the board it's not an early threat but later it can be a three mana cycler that's neat I've gotten in a couple of pokes with it so I think it was okay here but I, I agree I feel like I agree with your general your general assessment okay so that means they're playing a control warlock deck most likely I'm just gonna cycle this. I don't even think that's really worth the time, LOQ, because like, it's not just about putting money into arena that like, cost me something. Like, every time, I think I'm just gonna trade this plus my Dustbreaker for this. Yeah. Um. Every every time I'm streaming and I'm not streaming content that's popular, I'm affecting I'm affecting the growth of my channel, right? Like every every time the only reason I'm taking the time to stream Hearthstone is because I think Hearthstone really has the potential to like grow my channel outside of like some of my magic audience whereas long term Arena probably isn't going to grow my channel that much outside of the audience that I already have. That's a Void Lord. Shadow Madness with an inner fire. We actually, if they don't put another taunt thing down here, we could possibly kill them. Of course, they're gonna need another taunt thing now. Yep. All right, so what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, and like Arena's current lack of like anything resembling an actual format just like makes it something I'm not really interested in. I'm actually gonna be really interested to see if people stay interested in Arena once it has real formats. Like a lot of the feedback I've heard from people in Arena is that they just like Arena because it's not the current standard format because they don't like the current standard format. That's true. I can take their Void Lord and then crack it on my turn. That could be valuable. Hellfire's a little brutal. It lets them kill this one now.
All right, so what am I doing here? I can take this and crack it against this one. No, advice, constructive specific feedback is useful and encouraged on this channel. Constructive specific feedback is useful and encouraged. I think I'm just going to go ahead and heal this up and try and get its health back up so that way we can try and combo them through all of this. We need to try and kill them before they play the 10 mana card that resummons the Void Lord. The even odd legendaries are in Witchwood, Nivik. That's really unfortunate. So that set up a perfect, perfect curve for this to kill everything. That was a good line from the opponent. So I'll swap this here. I think I'm just gonna play this and pass. Oh, I can heal myself. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't do it because I'm not used to playing with Priest. So, Drake. Drake kills her thing this turn. If we can dodge. You can dodge, you can dodge, Goldane, you can dodge a ball. All right, let's see if we can dodge their big, scary, make more demons guy. I'm familiar with the term. I can't tell you what it means offhand. I couldn't tell you what it means offhand. What are you thinking, opponent? What you got? What you got? I'm assuming they don't have the big 10 cost thing yet or they'd have slammed it already. This is not magic. This is a tablet friendly, elegant interface game. I feel like I'm usually pretty good about knowing when I don't know something. I don't know why they're gobbling up all of our time. That could be almost lethal. I think I'm just gonna take a mass dispel here, right? And I have two inner fires, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this and smash them. Because, like, even if they play that other thing out this turn, I just, like, mass dispel inner fire kill you for Xaxes. I played green black mid range on stream a bunch of times. You can find the archives on my YouTube channel. Actually, exactly did here if they rope out again. Yeah, but sma smashing for 16 doesn't accomplish anything, whereas the mass dispel gives me a route to victory through their best line. So I had some connection issues there, but ended up pulling it through at the end. This deck seems really sweet. I don't know that I played enough with this to give specific feedback on changes I would make, but this is an archetype I'm probably going to poke at some more off stream. It's a lot of fun. Playing donation decks in a, in a game where I'm still learning it is, is kind of great. Getting to play.